Hello everyone, welcome back to another video for me, Beast of My Name. And today in this video, I want to talk about one of the most important topics in the game when it comes to war, and that is micromanagement. Since no one is really talking about, it, especially like around micromanagement, I want to give you with that video here today a full guide of how to micromanagement your archers on the open field. And since a lot of you have asked me how I am getting so good trades on the open field where I'm using Archer, even when I get swarmed with like 10, 50 marches and I still do potato trades, I was like, all right, let's do that guide. And here we have it. One key point to that is, of course, how you manage your march in different situations on the open field. And for that, we have three big pillars for that. We have the first one, which is attack. The second one is the open field. And then we have also defense. In every situation, you need to adapt your playstyle and change it a bit. Not the talent trees, not the heroes, mainly really just only your playstyle and how you manage basically your marches. And as you can see on this picture, I'm going to talk about every other two type uh, also. I have already made a video about uh, the infantry mic management guide. I'm going to show it to you here on the screen. And I will also do another one about the calves and one about the mages. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss out the other two guides. Also, if you want to be one of the best players in your team and you exactly know how to make management your marches. I'm a former beta player. I have um, my main on server 69. So I got a lot of experience in the game already, a lot of fighting experience also in the game. So it's not just something randomly it is really based on experience. I have tried a lot of things out. So let me tell you with these micromanagement guides what you need to care about and how you can get the most out of your marches on the open fields fighting. At the end, I will give you also some um, tips and tricks what you need to care about if, uh, if you're using archers. But let's jump into the video. As we all know and see from the stats of the archers, they having a really high base attack, and we also know they have a high base counterattack natural damage. But their HP and defense is not the highest, and that's the problem the archers have. The problem with, uh, with archers are that they have a reduced attack range. On top of that, that they have reduced HP and defense. They have more focus on the attack stat. So with the reduced attack range, problem for archers is that they need to walk towards the enemy. For example, if you want to attack a mage, you need to walk towards the enemy mage uh, march and to be able to attack that one. And exactly in this moment, when you're walking towards the enemy, what happens, you're getting swamped down, right? And to avoid that, you want to use the archers correctly on the open field. And let me tell you that. For that, we have exactly two archer playstyles for all three big pillars. The first archer playstyle is the counter attack playstyle, my favorite one. While the second one is more based on normal attack damage. The counter attack playstyle is something for most of the archer players, in my opinion. Here, your goal is to be as tanky as possible and doing still a lot of counter attack damage if it's possible. I'm gonna show you now on the screen two videos which are gonna help you with being a better counter-attack archer player. The two videos are about the horse Kinawa archer match, which is right now basically the best counter-attack archer match you have in the game. But since horse is not for everyone something, I have also another video, which is uh, really recommended for a lot of uh, players actually, and also on YouTube. And a lot of people came to me and said to me, this Kinawa build, which you have uh, showed there in your video, is really good. And I'm using it and I'm destroying that. And the thing with that Kinawa build is you can either use Kinawa Fuega or you can use Kinawa Nico. With these play uh, two heroes behind Kinawa, you have two legendary heroes, which you might getting pretty easy. Because Fuega is on the wheel and you only need her uh, on 5 or 5 one. And Nico you get also from the gold keys. So it's pretty easy to get a really good archer march with, for example, Kinawa Nico or Kinawa Oiga. The normal attack playstyle is more something for Alpha city hopping or if you are more or less a T5. I have tested it out. I know this opinion will, many will not agree with. 
since a lot of people are saying Sinion and Fuega are hands down right now the best Archer might you can get for Behemoth, that's true, and also for open field fighting, for war. This is not true, in my opinion. And that's a good thing, right? Everyone have different opinions, so let me show you why I think Sinion Fuega is not the best Archer match in the game right now. Problem with a normal tech playstyle is basically that you don't really get any good reports on the open field if you aren't T5 because you're getting, like I said earlier in the video, you're getting swarmed down by a lot of uh, mage marches or other archer marches, right? If you, because you need to step forward to be able to attack the enemy. And that's a problem, what the, all archer marches have. But the, the thing with a normal attack damage playstyle is, it is focused on normal attack, not on counter attack. So normal attack damage, and as we know, archers not doing AE damage, it is basically a one versus one march. Yes, they still have a high counter attack natural damage, but is it really better when the archer march versus focus on counter attack? I don't think so. So the normal attack play style, you wanna use more in situations like CD hopping, or if you have like one versus one situations, or if you are on more on the defense. That's where you wanna use more of a normal attack play style, in my opinion. A normal attack play style with Sindin Fuega, you can use definitely if you are T5 right now in the game. Because many players still have only T4, and there's only a really less percentage of a player base who have unlocked T5. Most of a player base is still T4. So you can use right now still T5, uh, you can use right now still Sindin Fuega with T5 and doing still good damage, even with counter attack, because you have T5. And that's the thing. That's the thing. If you haven't, if you don't have T5 behind your Sinian Fuega, you're just dying way too fast. And that's why I recommend basically all T4 spenders who are using archers as a main troop type, go for the counter attack. Really, go for the counter attack. You really, you're really gonna do better trades and you will be more useful for your team. Of course, this is not a 100% always good report strategy, you know, like that's not possible. But since I'm doing that uh, since season one, I doing and getting also mostly positive trades since I have, since I have my uh, divided my archer matches into these two play styles. And since I'm doing that and having in, in my mind, okay, in this kind of situation, it's more useful to use. It's more useful to use a normal tech lifestyle when I go. If I think there's uh, in this kind of situation, it's better to use counter attack when I go for that. And with that in my mind, I'm doing a lot of good trades with archers and basically mostly only positive trades. And so with this information in our mind, let's jump into the actual video and that are the three big pillars: attack, open field, and defense. So let's start with the attack one. If you're coming to a situation where you are the attacker side and you are the fighting the enemy on their territory, there are two big things you need to know and you need to be careful. If the enemy is letting you basically free burning the towers and they and there are just a few players city hopping around, then it is better if you using the normal attack playstyle because if people just city hopping, you want to counter that by using a 1v1 march, right? You don't want to use mages. You don't want to use counter attack archer, uh, uh, archer marches. You want to use, and in this kind of situation where an enemy is city hopping and maybe even doing it with Sinian Foyega, you want to counter that by using yourself a Sinian Foyega and doing a lot of normal attack damage. Because since I said, this is a 1v1 archer march, right? They don't do AOE damage like ma mages and they don't have a really high counter attack damage like for example Horse Kinawa. If it's a case that the enemy is pushing you but don't have enough numbers to push you away from their territory and you still can burn their towers, then we're going back to, this, uh, to the point of using counter attack damage on your, uh, on your uh, archer marches because they are multiple marches which can might hit you at the same time. And you want to counter attack that, you want to counter that by doing a lot of counter attack damage, right? I think you understand what I tried to explain with that. And like I explained earlier in the video, you only want to use a normal attack playstyle when there's really just a 1v1 situation. 
really guys trust me if you are t4 using this if you are in a 1v1 situation let's go into an open field situation the open field situation is pretty similar to the text situation that's why it will be pretty short if you're having now the situation where both teams are same strong and you're just fighting a back and forth fight right now what you want to play here is when obviously again the counter attack plays that because like i said you're having more a lot of marches on the field you can get attacked by a lot of marches but you want to play archers and you have good archers when doing the counter attack and you're doing a lot of damage against the other marches which attacking you and save your Sindian for eager for other situation in this kind of open field fighting the normal attack damage placer is just really something for t5 right now like i also said earlier in the video because again t4 getting killed too fast I need to know that pretty often because I still see it that a lot of people are still doing that and kind of wasting with that when that hoops. That was the basic before open field situation. <laughs> so let's jump into the defense situation. The defense situation is pretty interesting for me because here both playstyles are actually working. Let me explain to you. You can use here now a really strong strategy called city hopping. Basically what, I, what you do is that you jump in and out of an alliance member city. The key behind that is that you don't use more than one time stamina. Same thing like on the open field. To remind you, you only use stamina if you go out of your city and attack when someone. As long as you're not doing, uh, as long as you're not going back into your own city, you don't use any more stamina unless you're destroying a tower, a keep, barricades if you're season one. And the city hopping you can do with both archer playstyles. If you're going back to the attack situation. If you have, if you are now in the defense situation and you don't have a lot of people online and you just city hopping, you can use a for one v one playstyle, for a normal attack playstyle, or using using the counter attack playstyle. The key behind these two now is that if you're on the defense uh, side, the normal attack playstyle you still want to try to only do one v one or not even getting attacked at all. So what I mean with that is you're jumping out of the city, attacking, for example, a mage march or a builder, and you want to look for that you just getting the counter attack damage on your archer march. While you're doing normal attack damage, skill damage, artifact uh, skill damage on the enemy marchers. If you're getting now attacked, you're jumping basically just back into the city. And then again, in the next second, you can jump out again and attack. And then you can jump back into the city. And by doing that again and again and again, you're getting the enemy marches pretty low and doing a good amount of the uh, merit. The counter attack playstyle is that you can stay out basically and attack them a little bit longer. Here you're basically trying to bait them with like two, three, four marches to attack your counter attack march. And you see then based on the numbers on the enemy marches, if you're doing positive trades or not. For example, you're jumping out of a city, attacking a builder, and four mate marches attacking you. You're getting 2k damage per turn, while one mage march is getting 1.5k damage per turn, other one is getting 3k damage per turn, and the other two marches getting 2k damage per turn. Based on these numbers, you know that you're winning the trade because four marches are doing together on your march 2k damage per turn, while you're doing basically together counted. 7, 8.5k together. And with these numbers in your head and you see them on the field, you, you can basically kind of cal calculate pretty fast if you're doing better trades or not. That was it basically already with a defense situation. I know there was not that much like when I talked about the infantry. It is also just because archers is way less complicated than infantry uh, when it comes to the micromanagement. The tips what I can just give you now at the end is if you are a free to play player, don't main archers at all. Really, I cannot recommend that at all if you uh, if you are a free to play player to main archers as a troop type. You should, really should go instead uh, mages for that. And you can, of course, focus later on archers um, to help out in behemoth raids is needed and to have also more options in fighting. But if you are free to play, it is not really recommended by myself 
to go for archers. This was it for my management guide for archers. I hope you have enjoyed that. The next one gonna be about calf marches. So make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed that video. I hope uh, this video gonna help you a lot with having now a better micromanagement when it comes to archer. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video. If you have any questions, write it also down in the comments. I will be open to answer them all. And with that said, guys, thanks everyone who have watched the video. Stay happy, everyone. And we're gonna see us on the next one.